this is Heather Barnhart with another Tip Tuesday. Last week, I talked about the reader training that's available in the PA 10.3 Learning Hub, as well as your My Celebrate Community Portal. I now want to talk to you about creating a reader report. So if I go to the top and do Generate Report, what we're going to see is that I can choose multiple things here. What's really important is that the format is UFDR for Celebrate Reader, Pathfinder, or Guardian. I'm going to put my initials in here, and then I'm going to press next. Now this is where the examiner or the person creating the case has a say really in what you get to see in your, re in your reader report. So if you have specific time events that you have legal access to or that you wanna focus your investigation on, you can choose those. You can also choose to include items without a timestamp. You can deselect and select anything you want. So if I only have legal access to contacts, call logs, and chats, I can select those things. Maybe I want to include locations. Um, if there's specific file types that you don't want to include, again, you can deselect all and say, I want to include the databases and maybe the documents and images. Now, as you dig down, this is where things become really important. Do you want to include MD5 hashes as well as SHA-256? Do you want to include external files? Do you want to include Celebrate Reader, the executable, so it can be opened? I always recommend that one. Um, as you're scrolling down even more, you can say what you want to include or exclude from these reports. This is extremely important on essentially creating what the investigator is going to see. From there, you click Finish, and your report will be created. Stay tuned for more Reader on Tip Tuesday. Want more? Subscribe.